Okay, now in yesterday's video, we discussed briefly about the all new One UI 7 Beta 4 which arrived on the Galaxy S24 series. And today I would like to talk about all those brand new features and changes which we have on One UI 7 Beta 4. And let's also discuss about the features which are still missing on One UI 7 compared to the S25 series. And you guys let me know whether you are waiting for those features or not in the comment section. Now without wasting any time, let's dive right in and check out the new changes and features on One UI 7 Beta 4. I may Able to see about six new features or changes if you find anything new you are free to comment and let me know that now let's go ahead let me open the quick panel here and here we have got the all new nearby devices menu. Let me tap on this. It says nearby devices and uh, your devices will appear when they are nearby so you can connect to them quickly. Devices appear when they have Bluetooth turned on and if they are signed into your Samsung account or you have connected to them before. Now this is a brand new option that we are seeing. Let me tap on next. Here it says we can drag any device to the circle at the top of the screen to instantly connect it to this phone. Drag it away to disconnect it. Let me tap on next. Now here it says tap a device to see the sharing and connectivity features that are available when it's connected to this phone. When you turn on a feature, it will be turned on for both this phone and the other device. This is also pretty cool. We get some additional information here. Let me tap on continue and I'll tap on continue while using the application allow. And here is a quick demo of how you can drag these icons. I'll tap on OK. Now as you can see, this is the Galaxy S24 Ultra and I have got two devices here, S25 Ultra and Tab S10 Plus. Now let me also get the uh, Samsung Buds here. This is the Buds 2 we have. Let me open this up. Here it is, we've got Buds 2. And to connect this, all I need to do is just press and hold on it and drag it and drop it right here. It's a cool graphics we have. It says connected for calls and audio. And we've got some details about the uh, this Buds, which shows the battery information as well. And uh, we also see the phones and tablets here, but we will not be able to connect this. Let me try this here. Yeah, it says this device doesn't support dragging to connect and I can tap on more features here. Oh, it just disappeared. Let me try this again. No, I think there is some issue there. It is not showing that more features option when I try to connect. Let's try tab 10. Yeah, the tab can be connected here. Multi-control couldn't start. Make sure a mouse or keyboard is connected to your tablet. Then try it again. I can enable the multi-control right here and I can tap on more features. Again, it is not working there. Maybe a bug there. I'm not very sure about that. Now, let me just disconnect this buds here and let's go back. Now, let's look at the second feature that we have that's inside the gallery. Let me open gallery application. Tap on menu, tap on settings. I have already enabled the gallery labs here. You can enable it by tapping on about gallery and tapping on version number multiple times. Once it is enabled, you will see gallery labs right here. And when you tap on it, you will get to see loads of new functions and features for gallery. Now here, Samsung added a feature called open in other window on One UI 7. And this was available in the previous beta as well, but that was not functioning well. And now with beta 4, this is working fine. Let me show you how this works. It says open in other window, open new viewer in other window for image video viewer. Now let me go to the gallery again. I will just go back here and maybe open any of the images here. Let me open this image and here, if I tap on this three dot button, you'll be able to see open in other window option if you have enabled it in a gallery labs. Now let me tap on open in other window. As you can see, this is functioning. It opens up gallery in another window in split screen, which means we are able to open a single application, which is gallery in this case, in two different windows. And this could be useful if you are referring to some image and comparing it with another image or something like that. This will also be useful if you're editing an image. Let's say I want to drag and drop a specific subject from this image. Let's say I want to drag myself from here and drop it here on this image. I will be able to do that, you see. I can edit it right here. So in multi-window, it is very easy to edit the images and I'll also be able to copy the effects from here and uh, paste it here on this image. Or if I want to, let's say, uh, drop a few images from one folder to another folder, I should be able to do that as well. So that is what it does and this feature is now functioning on the One UI 7 Beta 4. Next, Samsung has changed the Smart Select icon to AI Select. As you can see here, this is the uh, AI Select option now and Samsung would have also added some additional contextual menu for AI Select. Earlier this icon was labeled as Smart Select, but now we have got AI Select. And if I'm not wrong, this will have a much better AI integration into this Smart Select feature. So that's another change we have. 
and then of course we have got the log video now if you open the camera application and tap on this menu button and tap on settings you can go to the advanced video options and here you will see log format you will be able to use it on pro video mode only or both video and pro video modes we already discussed this in detail in my previous video and uh, we also have another feature which is the new AI filters inside the camera if you tap on this menu button again and scroll towards the right we have got the uh, filters here you'll be able to scroll towards the right and adjust the strength color temperature contrast saturation uh, film grain etc and we can instantly tap on view original and the uh, customization that you have done on the particular filter and we can also tap on this plus button to quickly uh, add a filter from any other uh, photos that's another change that we have got on one ui 7 beta 4 on the s24 series another feature which samsung has added is in the settings menu let me tap on connected devices as you can see we now have storage share option which was not available in the previous beta now let me tap on this let me show you what this does it says allow your samsung tv or galaxy book to access and use the files and folders on this phone for storage share to work both devices need to have wi-fi bluetooth and storage share turned on we will be able to access all the files and folders which are available on the phone right on your samsung tv or a samsung galaxy book wirelessly using this feature so that's another new feature we have got on one ui 7 beta 4 on the s24 series and another thing to note here is when you press and hold on the home screen tap on settings button scroll all the way down if you have installed home up module on good lock you get this more customization option right here at the bottom you can just tap on this to directly access home up application now home up may not be available officially on your device i had installed the apk so i'm able to access it and uh, if you already have it officially you will also be able to access it so now we have got home up application integration inside the one ui home launcher settings you can just press and hold on it tap on home screen settings and scroll down tap on more customization to access home up within the settings itself which is pretty cool now these are some new features and changes we have got now let's talk about the features which are still missing the first one is sports from google on the now bar now we all know that now bar is available on one ui 7 and we get to see a lot of information on that now bar and samsung added live sports scores on the now bar which is still missing on the s24 ultra if i go to the settings here tap on lock screen and aod and tap on now bar here and tap on view more this is where the google sports score will be sitting but that is not available right now but we can now see voice recorder as well as samsung notes which have been added for the live notifications on the now bar so if you are recording voice you will be able to see that on the now bar and if you are recording voice on samsung notes that notification will also appear on the now bar which is a new change and uh, we still don't have the sports by google on now bar the next feature is of course now brief we do not have now brief yet Yet on the s24 series and i see a lot of you guys commenting uh, now brief is something which you need do drop a comment and share your thoughts about that do you need now brief feature on your device or not drop a comment now the next feature which is still missing is the suggested replies on the s24 ultra let's go to the settings here i will tap on advanced features and tap on labs this is where the suggested replies feature is supposed to show up let me show that to you on the s25 ultra which is currently running on the stable version of one ui 7 let's go to the settings here tap on advanced features and tap on labs you can see we've got suggested replies here get ai powered suggested replies to chat and text messages you receive provided by samsung keyboard now this feature is still missing on the s24 series i will be posting a quick video about this feature of the s25 series stay tuned for that video i will show you how exactly this feature works now another feature which is still missing is the sketch to image let me keep this phone back and show you that let me tap on the sketch to image feature this is still the older version of sketch to image whereas if you look at the s25 ultra here now it's called drawing assist and this is what you're going to see on drawing assist now but here it still says sketch to image and we have the same old options here but here on the s25 ultra we've got three options here we can draw something to get an image we can add an image from the gallery to further edit it and we'll also be able to describe the idea through text by tapping on this icon and create the image that we want so that's the new option and the whole thing is brand new here and this actually looks pretty boring and i really wish this feature also comes on the s24 series now those are some amazing features which are still missing on the galaxy s24 series if you think you need those features drop a comment and let me know 
and share your thoughts about the latest beta, how is the battery performing on your device, whether you are able to find any bugs and uh, if you are able to see any new features, drop a comment and let me know. The one bug I am seeing right now here is when we press and hold on the icon, you can see uh, the options here are very close to each other. The icons are almost touching each other. If you look at the same here on the S25 Ultra Stable, this pop-up is clean and I think there is a bug here or uh, there is some issue here because of which it is not looking good. It has got very less gap and I think Samsung will be fixing it in the next update, either a beta or a stable release. I still feel that there could be one more beta coming in for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, maybe Samsung will add one or two additional features and then they will release the stable version. Let me know what are your thoughts. And if you're interested in these beautiful looking wallpapers, these are available on Volvo's application. We have recently launched this application, Volvo's. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out. It's a free application to download. We've got some premium as well as free categories. If you want to get rid of ads and go premium, you can do that on the application and it is not going to cost you much. So go ahead and check out the application. There are some amazing collections and some amazing free wallpapers as well. The link to download the app is in the description check that out and while you do that be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening with your device and give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye